What is going on guys? It's Austin here with Lowry's Rebinding Company and today I'm bringing you a video to show you some of the work that we have completed over the last several months. This one I completed a couple months ago and this one we just finished up yesterday. So I wanted to talk to you about these rebinds. I want to show you the progress and the difference between these bibles so that you can see the work that we're doing here at Lowry's Rebinding Company. So just to start off, this one I've already done a video on. You could check that video out on Facebook instagram and youtube this one was the one that i completed i want to say probably a month or two ago this one was rebind number five this is the fifth rebind that i've ever completed and then the one right here on the right hand side is the one that we just finished up yesterday this is rebind number nine and there's a bunch of different features that each of these have and i just want to show you the progress um, from this one to this one so that you can kind of see exactly where we've improved and i want to talk about some of the, the places that i want to continue to improve um, lowry's rebinding company is all about transparency and openness and, and that's why i'm making these kind of update videos but just to also show you the work that we do here so i've not made videos on all the rebinds like i said i've got some more on the youtube channel you could check out rebind number three this one's rebind number five and then number nine i'm going to start making these more often just to show you the videos that we're doing so let's go ahead and get right into All right, guys, it so here's rebind number five i won't spend too much time on this one since we already have a video of this one you guys can go check that out on the facebook rebound number five this was a battle Lassie carlo i think it was just a dark brown battle Lassie carlo it's definitely hard harder to see that unique grain you can kind of see some right here but this is the famous leather that a lot of rebounders use and a lot of people get their bibles rebound in just because of how gorgeous the leather is just the the texture the grain and the pattern on it is just so unique and this leather will patina and brighten up over time the more that you use it so if you guys want to go check out the features of this bible go check out that video but just a couple things it's got some stamping on the spine and the cover it's got a theonostas the greek word for god breathe and that's the reference right there but a couple things that I want to point out to you that will be majorly different from this one to the next one is the first thing is going to be the raised spine hubs. Now I do raised spine hubs and tooled spine hubs. I've not done any videos with the tooled. I'll definitely get that out to you soon. But these raised spine hubs, I've been experimenting with different materials and different methods of achieving a raised spine look. Now, if you look on this one, you will notice that these are rather thick spine hubs. You can definitely find some thinner spine hubs um, from varying rebinders and just Bible manufacturers. But if you look about how much they're raised, they're not very far raised off of the Bible, but it's definitely a thicker material that will give the spine the structure. And I've also started tooling the spine hubs. You'll see that in the, the last video. Another thing on this one, this one, it, it doesn't have, it's got a yap. It's a very small yap. And I've had, I've had this one in saran wrap to try and keep it to go down just to, just to tool the yap or train the yap is what it's called. And, and the yap just serves to protect pages. And it's also kind of an aesthetic thing for, for Bible lovers. So in, in rebound number nine, you'll see that I've added a much longer yap. And when you, when you have your Bible rebound, you can have any kind of yap. You can have a short, medium, or a full yap, depending on just your preference. Another thing that I want to show you is the stitching. I did this stitching to offset the color of the darkness. Um, stitching is something definitely that you have to practice on to get a consistent stitch. And with this one being number five, you can definitely see some of the mistakes that I made. You can kind of see kind of right here just where the stitching isn't consistent. And I've now learned what causes that. I didn't know that for a really long time. What causes that inconsistency. But when I got to rebound number nine, I've definitely fixed up on some of those. If you look on the corner work, this, this Bible in particular was kind of a breakthrough for my corner work. Corner work is, if you know anything about Bibles, corner work is definitely, corner work and skiving is definitely a, a more difficult task. And if you look right here, it's kind of hard to, I can't get it to focus, but the corner work on this one was the best that I had ever done up until this point. All of my other corners were pretty, uh, not that great. And, and it just takes practice. Same thing with the stitching. It takes practice. Bobble ring binding in general just takes practice. And then if you look on here, I talked about the spine stamping. 
Spawn stamping is another thing that takes practice, just trying to line it up and everything. But yeah, this is what this one looks like. Let's get in Bible Rebound number nine. All right, guys, here's Bible Rebound number nine. This one, I used a different kind of leather. This one was for a very good friend. And you can already tell there's a bunch of differences from Rebound number five to Rebound number nine. This one is using double shot cowhide from Rocky Mountain Leather Supply. It doesn't have the pebbly grain or the unique grain it's very smooth it's very buttery smooth and i've found that this one just doesn't scratch as easy as the battle Assy carlo waxy does i'm i really love this leather and i'll definitely be using it again so a couple things i want to talk about the spine hubs if you look you can already tell that these ones are a lot thinner i used different materials to try and achieve the look that I was wanting wanting to use so definitely and they're a lot taller you kind of it's hard to tell but let me pull let me pull up the other one if you if you look here let's see if you can see that yeah they're they're a lot thinner I wanted to have a more clean crisp overall look let me put these side by side if you if you look one's thinner than the other one I'm definitely liking rebound number nine a lot better as far as progress this one has a medium yap it almost touches i did a medium yap just to protect the pages on this one this bible was a lot older this bible was from 1978 i believe i don't know if that's when it was printed but that's when my friend received it i've got stamping on here i didn't stamp the version on here and i didn't because i thought it would just look cleaner if i just did the holy bible now you can have the version stepped on here. You can have it. You can have this whole thing. You can have this whole thing blank if you want. But I just did Holy Bible on here with the name, and I started stamping the company logo, Lowry's Rebinding Company. I don't have a logo like a design yet, so this is what I've been doing for now. Another thing that I want to look at is the stitch work. Like I said, this one right here, the stitch work, you can already see. A lot better a lot more consistent around the board and that's because I've I finally kind of figured out why my stitches weren't staying straight and I was able to employ that one throughout this entire this entire rebind another thing the corner work on this one was even better than number five here let me show you the corner work let me see if you can see that Corner work is definitely difficult to master, and I'm definitely trying my best to get it as clean and, and nice looking. So that is what the corner work looks on this one. So all of these rebinds, by the way, are edge lined. They have new end sheets. This is a new end sheet. They are edge lined with spine reinforcements. Oxford Hollow is what I use. You won't be able to see it, but the Oxford Hollow is in there. New headbands, new tail bands on the bottom. This one, I only did two strings or two ribbons, my bad. You got a black and you got a brown. Now let me show you how flat this lays. So if you open it up towards the middle, that's how flat I've been able to get my Bibles. I don't know if that's super flat for some uh, Bible people or if this is kind of standard, but this is how flat I've been able to get my spines. I don't know exactly what people use. This is an older Bible, so I'm not going to get too crazy with it, but that's how flexible the spine is i'm definitely i'm definitely working on trying to achieve the best flexibility because i know guys like their floppy floppy bibles all right so here is a side by side of rebound number five and rebound number nine i'll just show you guys around a little bit tell me what you guys think do you like the way that these look? Do you like the style of these rebinds? Let me down in the let me know down in the comments what kind of leather you like.
alrighty, there you have it. Rebind number five and rebind number nine. If you guys want to see more rebind videos, subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button down below so that I know that you enjoy these videos. If you guys want to see more information, see more pictures, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And we will see you guys later.